now to the Highland Park massacre and we are hearing from more people forced to flee during yesterday's parade. Many of them say at first they thought they were hearing fireworks, but once they realized what was happening, they began to ran for their lives. This video taken by a child during that chaos and we want to warn you what you're about to hear is disturbing. You can hear just how many shots were fired in yesterday's deadly mass shooting. Well, Les Blau was there when the gunfire broke out. He's a lawyer who led a prayer service last night and joins us now to talk about the past 20 hours, 24 hours. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we appreciate your time. Um, first, I have to say the sound of those gunshots makes my heart sink. You were in that crowd. I can't imagine the terror of that. How are you doing today? Well, uh, we were, my wife and I were on a parade float for uh, Central Avenue Synagogue. And the way it actually played out, my wife's brother was approaching the scene of the shooting. And I was disappointed that we were not further up in line, but that may have saved our lives. Uh, we were at the back end of the lineup. Uh, and then uh, people started running and shouting that there had been a shooter. Uh, we were uh, able to connect with her brother who said, there's been a shooter, don't come anywhere near here. And then the uh, people that were staffing us, that we were about to head right into that location, told us not to move, not to go ahead, but to go. And uh, the parade was being canceled and we should get to a safe place as soon as we could. What was that safe place for you? Well, we had a truck that was decorated, and uh, I live less than a block from the synagogue. So my wife and I went back to the synagogue parking lot where a number of people of all different backgrounds uh, had come to seek shelter. And since we live only a block from the synagogue, uh, we went back to that area where my wife's mother was with a friend, they had been watching the parade and fled to the friend's mm -hmm. house and uh, asked us to come and be with them because they were terribly shaken by what had happened. And then of course, mm -hmm. we were told that everybody should uh, shelter in place and not go outside. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we did um, uh, in fear because we did not know where the shooter was. Well, that's exactly right. And it was hours before we knew where the shooter was. I can't imagine what that time period was like. Yeah, it was extremely scary. We were uh, uh, just, my wife was begging me not to go outside, even to go across uh, 50 feet away to our own home. She was afraid that the shooter might emerge. I can imagine. I can imagine. You led a prayer later, and I don't know how you comfort people after a trauma like that. It's so random, almost impossible to prevent, and we keep hearing the story over and over again. What did you say to people to comfort them? Well, the most important thing, I think, is to remember that in Highland Park, uh, the whole purpose of the parade is to demonstrate the love that people have for our community and the brotherhood that we share from all different backgrounds, Jewish and, and Christian, uh, uh, all different people coming together to celebrate the freedoms that we enjoy and the safety that we like to think is part of our lives, which unfortunately disappeared to a significant extent yesterday. Well, we thank you for talking to us. I'm so glad you and your family are okay. And um, I wish you well as you uh, heal from this traumatic event. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we pray for all those who are in need of healing. And we do that every single day. Thank you. Thank you. I should point out that.